Okay, so this is the second one. Uh, made quite a few changes. Um, I said I'd get the elastic release mechanism part done. My brother's supposed to be milling a piece for me. But all I got right now is it's up in my crease, probably 20 foot, maybe a little over. And then the anchor port's in the back of my truck, so it puts it up high enough for me right now. Um, but I'll just go through and do some movement stuff with it, and we'll go from there. Uh, I like it. It's pretty cool.
things right now. Trying to explain what I actually have. It's just a bunch of junk I had laying around the house, basically. <laughs> uh, a rope. Okay, it's that plastic nylon stuff, so it's got good, it stretches a lot. So that way you can pull the javelin down to where you need it, as far as eye level goes. Um, and we can shorten it for, uh, shorten up the rope for your, the angle that you want, because I realize this is not really going to be your release angle. But if you look at it, it's just simple nylon pulleys. Um, I kind of had to reconfigure this. This was actually like one of the lawnmower um, hoists for working on lawnmowers is all it was, but I just re, you know, refabbed it. Um, so the paracord's a little stretchy, not real bad. The reason for it is the way these are set up, when I got the pigtail on it for trailing, is it pulls it back. Okay, when it's pulled tight like that, there's no pressure on the rope, but when it's coming back, when those tilt up, they rub on the bottom side of that that rope, and that's what slows it down. I don't hit myself in the head like I did last time. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'll be able to use this indoors. Um, basically, like for my high side, most of the most of your high schools and stuff have. Uh, basketball goals like the side goals that retract and they get pretty high probably 30 feet 25 30 feet by the time you jack them all the way up and then uh, I'll put them around that and then lift the goal all the way back up and there's probably what 70 to 80 feet of rope 70 feet of rope total and that's plenty where you can actually go through your steps um, and then I'll actually what I got for my anchor here is my weight sled that we used to push with some plates on it and then just a post to anchor it to. So it'll give it a little bit of height. Um, it won't be as high as it is here. But, um, we don't need as much room either. But I don't know. I think it's pretty cool. I think it'll work. Uh, it works a lot better than not being able to practice when it's raining and stuff like that. So um, I actually do have this. I had like a ball on it, a stop ball to catch it when it came back, but I got rid of that. Um, and actually what I have now is there's a brass fitting on there that's threaded on this back side. And I have a attachment that I can screw onto here that will have the release mechanism and stuff in it for um, when I do the bungee cord. So basically I'll be able to strap the bungee cord to it um, and it'll have a release to where when you're that way we, you, can, you can actually feel that pull instead of just pushing that thing all over the place you'll get the pull um, and then when you get you know so much pressure on it it'll release and let you go ahead and throw it like you normally would so I don't know I think it's pretty sweet works for me uh, let me know what you think